was a draw to VR because it's so powerful. It's unconscious. It affects our corpus, our physical orientation in an unconscious way. It blew my mind. I mean, who doesn't dream of flying? Ocular evolution really is a leap in the ability of storytellers to bring the viewer inside the frame of the story world. Now virtual reality is at a point that's going to hit the market, and once again, it's a mass medium. So it's just, it, it elevates the field, it, it's a breakthrough, you know, and, and this, is, this is why we built New Frontier. <laughs> What you're seeing here is a flight simulator. Inside that Oculus Rift, she is flying over the city of San Francisco. It blew my mind. <laughs> it blew my fucking mind. <laughs> I was a bird. I was a bird. We started this idea out of uh, the dream when you're flying in your dreams. That was like kind of our inspiration. And uh, we now want to try to get this feeling back into this machine. So. It should be easy, like in your dreams, to fly like a bird. And you don't have to learn how to fly. So just be a bird and fly. Ascent is a virtual reality documentary about my father. My father was an army officer and part of the, part of the military dictatorship in Chile. In 1973, he witnessed the mass execution of 15 prisoners. They got shot dead right in front of him. There was nothing he could do about it. When I was 16 years old, he told me the story of that day. And that started a conversation that's been going for over 20 years. So Ascent is my interpretation of that conversation. There's a positive side to isolation. There's little time and space, mental space, to be with yourself. You know, to understand what's going on with your thought process um, and perhaps the, the positive side of the isolation you get with virtual reality can give way to that space. You know, being with yourself and listening to how your body is reacting to certain stimulation, how your, you know, your thought process is constructed as you go through the experience. So the idea is being able to actually walk in someone's shoes, see what they see and feel what they see and then see that same event again from another person's view or the power of being able to see the same event from different people's perspectives. To me, the thing that I'm most excited about in VR is actually letting storytellers go back to being storytellers. Morris built this camera for this and came up with the technology for it, and it was just like kind of amazing, and it was a very freeing piece of equipment. It's an opportunity to start a conversation again and keep the conversation going and keep this topic in the zeitgeist, and, you know, and so for me, that's really, that's what my hope is. How impactful is this gonna be to an audience. These moments where it just hits them so hard, where people are like, they put it on, you say, now look over there, and they go, oh my God, what, what is that? But it happens every single time in VR. What's happening, what you guys are all seeing sort of in the public beginnings of this, is just the, the beginning of the iceberg that's happening. It's a brave new world, so be brave, right? Take a shot, it's, it's out there for you to grab. <laughs> There's a lot of anxiety about VR isolating ourselves from one another because it's so involving and it is really compelling. But I think there's also this massive opportunity to rewire and tell ourselves a different story that might help us reorganize ourselves and our consciousness in a different way that might be able to help us understand ourselves on a larger scale. Let's see what happens. Let's see where the artists take us.